I became angry. And he introduced me to myself that night. Everything changed. That's why I'm the way I am now. What's up, y'all? Today we will be reading from the second book of Thessalonians, chapter 3. And this will actually complete the second book of Thessalonians today. So, before I begin, I just want to give praise and honor to my God for life, for waking me up, for giving me this personal manual to get me through my journey called life. I'm so thankful for you, Father God. I used to thought I was alone before getting to know you, but I am so covered. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your sacrifice. For your love, for your dedication. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for always, always, always giving me direction, telling me what to say, telling me where to go, telling me how to walk. Man, I'm so thankful for my team. I'm blessed up. I just want to give y'all praise and honor before I begin reading this book. Forgive me of my sins that I have committed knowingly and unknowingly. There's no excuse. That's why I ask you for forgiveness. Forgive every listening ear who comes to you, God. We need you. We need you. And keep me. I don't want to be nowhere else. Keep me in your presence. I thank you. I praise you for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now let's get into it. Chapter 3. Final Instructions. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil and we have confidence in the Lord touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ now we command you Brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly and not after the tradition which he received of us. Wow. Wow. Okay. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us. For we behave not ourselves disorderly among you, neither did we eat any man's bread, for naught but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an ensample unto you to follow us. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busy bodies. Come on, Thessalonian. They're reading us today. <laughs> now them that are such we command 
and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man obey not our word by this apostle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish, <laughs> but admonish him as a brother. Paul's blessing. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. The salutation of Paul with mine on hand, which is the token in every apostle. So I write, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. And that is the end of the reading today. It was pretty short and straight to the point. Now, three things that caught my attention in the reading today. And if you're new to Good Convo, after I read the word of the day, I always want to come back and follow through and note some things that caught my attention. I don't just want to read it and then go on about my business. This makes me be accountable to what I read. So, yeah, I'm going to um, comment about three things that caught my attention. And sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 2. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Verse 6. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdrew, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition which he received of us. Now that caught my attention because, listen, I'm in a situation like that. And so to read this as clear as day, I know what to do next. <laughs> Y'all, I know what to do next. Let me just say that. I know what to do next. Verse 10 through 11 also caught my attention. For even when we were with you, this we command you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. That caught my attention. Because listen, sometimes we can think we're doing something. And oh, it's so cool that I just heard a young lady speak on this. <sighs> she was speaking of distractions. And how just because you're busy, that don't mean you're doing work. That don't mean you're doing the work that God has called you to do. So that caught my attention. Comment down below some things that caught your attention in the reading today. I would love to hear them. Um, but yeah, also subscribe to the Good Combo Podcast. I have so much in store for this, this platform. So I thank you guys for joining me today. And take care. <laughs>